Only the Founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Against the gloom of bygone days, thing to happen to Hideaway since, um, since, well, ever. <laughs> she's, got, she's got a smile like sunshine, and, and she can pull an ale like no other. <laughs> I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. Ah, <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, I'm no hunter, Sid. The first ton of worm I came across would be the death of me. But you're made of sternest stuff. Would you help me resurrect one of these recipes? Something tells me you won't be taking no for an answer. Fine. I'll help. Fantastic! Thank you. So... Dare I ask what's on the menu? Uh, chances stew. It was once a favourite among the Gormans of Oriflam, if the author is to be believed. Though Molly's never heard of it. The only problem is that while the recipe is extremely detailed in most respects, it's infuriatingly cryptic as to the main ingredient. A beast, no doubt. Most likely something that would make easy work of a simple cook with more broth than brawn, but... Unwanted violets? I've no idea what they might be. Does the book say anything else? Well, only that the sweetest violets sprout atop the bed of roses. Roses? Rosaria, perhaps? One of the butchers in Martha's Rest might know something. I'll ask next time I'm there. about these Guardians of the Flame. A part of me thought Drake's head might be the last crystal we ever cracked. But I'm glad I was wrong. How may I help you today, Clive? Come to claim your just desserts? Here you are. Best of luck out there, Sid. How are you doing? Quick look. Always something in there. There are new billets being posted. Clive! Oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackthorn. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. Look, normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what do you say? Fine. If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. He'll open up when he's ready. All right. Now, he'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So, I'll go first. 
and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. She's taken quite a liking to Lady Karen. <sighs> First August, and now you... What are you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What do you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. Phil shut you up. It's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now piss off. All right. We're going. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work. Which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it were nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened to cross him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of some it. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He doesn't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working the rides. I see. He did tell me summit though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here! There's a griffin on the hump board! The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. 
Now, where the bleeding hell was it sighted? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe? Care Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. So, it sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunting to you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. How did we never hear about these guardians of the flame? Same way they never heard about us. Typical nobles. A sea voyage this time, is it? I can lend you an oil skin if you're looking to keep the salt off your back.
thank you for sticking with us. Well, we can't exactly leave Those all of us still here. Have to look after, after each other, don't we? So, about the price of them turnips. Perhaps I'd live longer if I bade this town farewell. But I've grown rather fond of the old place. But if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up, hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet, if memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. You'll find your scorpions in the swamps below the rest. Just take the tails, mine. Thank you for sticking with us. Well, can't exactly leave old Martha in the lurch after everything she's done for us. Stay sharp. After what the Don't Empire did to Martha, I'd be like daft to stay. Don't you go causing any trouble now. Come on. Faster! Yeah. Uh, 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 u
it off. How did we never hear about these guardians of the flame?
Ready, go? Deserve a rest.
were right, boy. There's no coin to be had in this miserable land. Even if they wanted to trade with us. I know. It was hard for us Dalmex here in Sandbrek before the capital fell, but now we'd be stoned if we even approached Northreach. This isn't going to be easy.
rest well. I know I will. <laughs>